Hey, hello friends and welcome to Retro Portal Studio and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how you can check if your Flutter app is running in a debug or release mode programmatically. So when building Flutter apps we have three modes that we can work with, the debug mode, the profile mode and the release mode. The debug mode and profile mode are commonly used for development and the release mode is used when we have to create a production build of the app that we have to ship. Now, in most cases, we have different settings for apps based on which mode the app is running. We may have different API endpoints for debug and release mode. In debug or profile modes, we may use endpoints like localhost 3000, which can be used for testing. And in the release mode, we have production API endpoints, which we only use when we have to ship the app to the clients. Another use case would be when we have to restrict some features to be only used in debug mode when they're under development and you might even want to change the analytics settings based on which mode the app is running. Now there can be a lot more use cases other than these, but for all these cases we have to check if our app is running in debug or release mode and we have to do that programmatically. So let's take a look at how we can do that in our Flutter apps. Okay, so right now I'm in a simple Flutter app in which I only have this home screen and in the builds function of this home screen I'm returning a scaffold which has a simple app bar and in the body of the scaffold I'm returning an image and this image is wrapped in a padding and it is being centered on the screen using this center widget. Along with this, I also have this assets folder here in which we have images. And there are two images basically, that is the debug.png and the release.png. And what we want to do is in the main.dart file, we want to write some logic so that in the release mode, we show release.png and for the debug mode, we show this debug.png. So for this, we don't even have to write a custom function or anything like that. In Flutter, we're given with a constant called kReleaseMode. This is a boolean and it comes from the foundation package and we can simply use this to check if our app is running in release mode. So what we can do is we can check if this is true and if the kReleaseMode is true, we can simply use the release.png here and in the other case, we can use the debug.png. So at this point, I'll close the app and run the app once again. And because the app is running in the debug mode, we have the debug PNG on the screen. Now let me close this app and now I'll go to the run option in the menu. And in this you can see that we have the option to run our app in the release mode. So I'll do that. Now when the app runs in the release build, you can see that we have the release.png on the screen. So you can see that simply by using this kreleaseMode mode constant, we can check if our app is running in release mode or debug mode. If you're finding this video useful, consider supporting RetroPortal Studio via this thanks button just below the video and make sure to like the video and subscribe to RetroPortal Studio for more quality Flutter content. Now other than this k-release mode, Flutter also gives us with the k-debug mode and the k-profile mode. So you might want to ask if we can use k-debug mode to check if our app is in debug mode or not. Well, you can completely do that, but there is a problem with that approach. To demonstrate that, let me go back to the main.dart file. And here, instead of using the kreleaseMode, mode, I'll use kdebug mode. And now I'll have to swap the images. So instead of release, I'll use debug.png and I'll change this debug to release.png. And with these changes, I'll run the app in debug mode. And in the debug mode, we have the debug PNG. So let me close it for now and run the app in release mode. And when the app runs in release mode, we have the release.png. So where is the problem? Well, if we run the app in the profile mode, the app still presents us with the release PNG. Because when we run the app in the profile mode, the constant of kprofile mode is true and the other two constants are false. So rather than checking for kdebug mode and profile mode, we only can check for the kreleaseMode mode and this will tell us if we're running the production build or the debug build. So now that we have seen how to use kreleaseMode, mode, let's take a look at how we can use that to select the API endpoints for our app. For this, I'll go to this file called URL controller and in this you can see that I have two constants. One is the debug endpoint, that is the localhost one. And the second is the production endpoint that we have to use for the production build of the app. Other than these, I have this login and profile constant in which I use the debug endpoint and append the respective routes in the end. Now, at this point, I'm only using the debug endpoint. But when we have to release the app, we have to use the production endpoint. So for this, what we can simply do is create a new constant and this will be of type string and I'll name this endpoint. And for the value of this endpoint, I'll use the constant of kreleaseMode and if the app is running in release mode, then we can use the production endpoint or else 
we can use the debug endpoint. And now, instead of using the debug endpoint for the login and profile, we can use the endpoint instead. So I'll go to the main.dart file, and in this, I'll remove these images from here, and instead, I'll use a text, and for the value of this text, I'll use URL controller.login. And to the text, I'll also add a style. Now, I'll run the app in debug mode, and you can see that we're using the endpoint of localhost 3000 although I have this extra slash here by mistake. So for now, I'll close this app and run the app once again in the release mode. And when the app runs in the release mode, it's using the endpoint that we have for production. So with these examples, you have seen how easy it is to customize the behavior of our app based on the debug and release mode. And I hope you found this video useful. And if you do, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And also consider following me on Twitter for future updates. See you next time. Peace.